Policija u Belim Antilima pregleda KBC Dragiša Mišović kontra diverzije na ekipi na terenu nakon dojava o bombama. Bombama. Ok, guys, this is translation from Serbian language to English article from, I think, yeah, Euronews. Police in white coats inspect... Um, inspect uh, uh, clinical hospital um, center Dragiša Mišović counter diversion teams on the ground after reports of bombs in Serbia. Bombs were reported uh, anonymously and uh, via emails. That's something very interesting. Emails. So before I start reading this article to you and give you hints i'm gonna tell you because i don't watch uh, tell a lie vision and um, so only news i found find uh, either from local people in my town in serbia or reading from internet and one woman whose uh, husband is a cop policeman in serbia he was on one of these uh, counter diversion. Uh, he was one of these counter diversion teams, and he was in uh, Zvezdara. Not sure, uh, is it hospital or school? Because uh, these alerts came from these anonymous people um, that bombs were planted in Serbian schools, mostly in the capital city in Belgrade, and in some towns. Not sure where. Uh, and he said, uh, this cop told to his wife so his wife told me this story uh, that it's all fake there was not single bomb found or planted anywhere in these schools or hospitals in Serbia uh, Serbia is a former republic I mean it's a republic uh, which used to belong to former uh, republic Yugoslavia so cop told to his wife and she told me that he heard story that Poland and Ukraine um, gave this fake information about bombs, uh, fake alerts that, that uh, Russia planted bombs in Serbia. First of all, uh, Russia and Serbia, they are Christian countries and both Serbs and uh, Russians are Slavs. Russia was only country when NATO bombed Yugoslavia and Serbia, part of Kosovo and part of Montenegro. Russia was the only country who offered help to stop NATO and to help Serbia. And China offered also help, and I don't know which countries uh, didn't want to sanction by that time in 1999 uh, sorry there is a bug on the balcony so i'm trying to find it where is um, crawling so russia would never plant uh, any bomb in serbia ukraine and poland if this is true story that they uh, gave false information fake news that there is planted there are planted bombs in serbia and russia did it russia didn't done it um, it's because they want to turn countries against Russia. Uh, Ukraine war, we all know why started. Because in 2014, Ukraine started killing Russians in Ukraine. So Putin decided he wants to demilitarize and denazify Ukraine. And uh, Serbia agreed with some things uh, requested or should I uh, say demanded from NATO and Ukraine and they didn't agree about some things and um, so NATO is now pushing countries against Russia because they want to destroy Russia uh, World War 3 started bombing Yugoslavia NATO started World War 3 bombing Yugoslavia and they bombed us with depleted uranium. I guess you heard that story. 
uh, they didn't have any excuse to do this. This is a genocide what they done. This is genocide what they done. Anyway, uh, they want to turn countries against Russia, like they did with Yugoslavia. They will do everything, false flags, everything, like they did to us. Uh, they sanctioned us, they done everything in Ser to Serbia, to former Yugoslavia, and they broke down country. But with Russia, they have different scenario. They want to wipe out Russia from Earth. They want completely to destroy Russia. So, on whose side I'm standing? Of course, on the Russian side. Because Ra Russia is speaking truth. Uh, yes, let's go back to this article. All right, so they didn't found any bombs. As of this morning, new, uh, new reports of bombs are arriving in facilities in Serbia. And this time, the reports have reached the addresses of several hospitals in Belgrade. Belgrade is the capital city of, city of Serbia. As Euronews Serbia unofficially finds out, the reports arrived at, at the city hospital in Zvezdara, KBC Zemun, and the Military Medical Academy. According to unofficial information, ambulances were evacuated in Zemun and other patients are there. These are parts in the capital city of Belgrade. Uh, Zemun, Zvezdara, what else they mention? Okay. Today around noon, that was on 18th of May 2022. 18th May 2022. Today around noon, on that date, an anonymous report arrived that explosive devices had been planted in the Zvezdara Clinical Hospital. The co competent services were informed and the KD inspection was started in accordance with the protocol. KD, I guess that's counter diversion. Counter diversion, I guess. All activities were immediately undertaken in accordance with the procedures provided for such situations they say in uh, KBC Zvezda and by the way this could be a military drill because most countries are preparing now for war so at one point all countries are going to be pushed in this war because NATO want, uh, want to destroy Russia and they are doing with the Ukraine they don't care for Ukrainians if they care they would not uh, supply them with military equipment come on people I mean, really, they would try to negotiate and to to bring peace and to bring uh, humanitarian aids, not uh, weapons. They don't care for people. They don't care for Ukrainians. They are destroying uh, Muslim countries. They destroyed Yugoslavia. What, what, what else you people really need to, to wake up? A, a long time ago, I stopped uh, waking up people. It's really time for you to wake up. It's like it's like last hour to to wake up. You have just another hour to wake up if you want to wake up from all this madness and everything. So this could be a Serbian military drill actually because they are not saying anything about who really made these anonymous alerts on uh, planted bombs. They never said anything about it. So let's continue with the reading. All activities were immediately undertaken in accordance with the procedures provided for such situations. They say in, in uh, KBC Zvezdara. And the Military Medical Academy announced that after the anti-sabotage examination, it was determined that the report about the bomb in that military medical institution was false. So if it was false, who made this false anonymous information? Come on, guys. So our security in Serbia is not good if it's anonymous and you cannot find out who made these anonymous false uh, alerts on planted bombs. Uh, the KBC Dragi Shamishovic confirmed uh, to Euronews Serbia that around 10.30 they received a report that an explosive device had been placed in that health institution. We stopped with the admissions, none of the bedridden uh, patients were evacuated. Uh, these are mostly difficult patients and in their rooms the police conduct a counter-sabotage examination in white coats so that they would not be upset. We do not <coughs> accept patients in, clinic, patients in clinics but all are employed. Uh, we are waiting for the counter-diversion examination to, to be completed and for us 
to continue with the work they say in that health institution. The clinical center of Vojvodina uh, also received a report today about the planted bomb. Euronews Serbia has learned about it. After the uh, KDS uh, Z uh, examination, it was determined uh, determined that the report was false. Another one false uh, alert on planted bombs. Police will file criminal charges against unidentified persons for the crime of causing panic and riots. Euronews has learned. But who are these people? And they sent, now in this article I will read you for uh, what else they wrote, that uh, to schools uh, it was written in emails about these uh, planted uh, bombs in schools. So the, you cannot, you, you can find all information. You cannot just receive anonymous information like this and you don't find out first who gave anonymous information because this is not for kidding. Evacuating children, uh, patients from hospital and everything. I mean, come on, people. Uh, let's continue with reading article. New reports of bombs have arrived in educational institutions, that's schools, and they were received by the College of Electrical Engineering and Computing of Vocational Studies in Vojvode Stepe Street in Belgrade. The medical school, the PTT in Padova and the Bora Stankovic High School in Niš. Niš is another town. Belgrade is capital city and they were received by the College of Electrical Engineering. So they they know who sent this information. And that's all. Oh no, there, there's more, sorry. Pupils and employees were evacuated and the police were informed. The counter diversion team inspected the building of the Bora Stankovic Gymnasium and it was determined that the report was false. Another false information, another false alert report, whatever call it. In the previous days, emails arrived at numerous schools but also student dormitories and shopping malls saying that bombs had been planted on the buildings. This is either military dr drill Serbia is doing, preparing for war, because they know it's coming war, and um, or this is fake news by NATO, by Ukraine, by Poland. On Monday, there is no third option, only these two options I gave you. On Monday, the, the, the email address of 173 Belgrade primary and secondary schools received a warning that explosive devices had been set up. The counter-diversion teams of the Ministry of the Interior have not yet inspected all educational institutions. In 70 schools uh, that were not reviewed, classes were organized online. Is there more? Oh yeah, there is more. Assistant Minister of Education Milan Pašić said this morning that the schools have an evacuation plan and that in all the schools that were examined the reports were false. Also in the forum, so another it's false uh, alert, also in the forum of Belgrade gymnasiums they said that every gymnasium on the territory of Belgrade with the exception of the gymnasium in Mladenovac, that's my hometown, Mladenovac, received a report on Monday about the set of explosive devices in schools. Uh, with the exception of the gymnasium, with the exception. So only a school in my town didn't receive this uh, fake, inform uh, fake alert on uh, planted bombs. Received a report on Monday about the set of explosive devices in schools. That is why today three high schools started their morning shift online. Namely, the, the 8th Belgrade High School, the Patriarch Pavle High School, and the 12th Belgrade High School. It turned out that in all schools that have already been inspected, and that is the majority, the reports were false. So again, false uh, alerts on planted bombs. Now we have a serious problem that could affect the regular end of the school year. Ale Alexander Markov, president of the Belgrade Gymnasium Forum, told Tutanjuk. He emphasized that when it comes to measures, there are no possibilities to apply any special measures. So what they saying, we have zero uh, good security in Serbia. That's what I'm understanding. Is there more? No, that's all. So they said they will... Where is that? Just a moment.
police will file criminal charges against unidentified persons for the crime of causing panic in Rio. Euronews has learned. So they these some of these informations uh, arrived in educational institutions and they were received by the College of Electrical Engineering and Computing of Vocational Studies in Vojvode Stepe Street in Belgrade, the medical school, sorry, the medical school, uh, the PTT in Palela and the Bora Stanković High School in Niš. So they have start to start uh, questioning and investigating these people from whom arrived uh, all these uh, reports on planted bombs. And I don't think that we will ever hear any news on investigation, really.